Good afternoon, this is Pamela, and you're listening to Watchmen on the Pod. I wanted to continue in our Bible reading. We are still in Romans. We are in chapter 14. Um, I wanted to remind you that I will be reading from multiple translations. Um, I actually added in one, my favorite Bible translation, and that is the complete Messianic Aleph Tov scriptures compiled by William H. Sanford. So I will first be reading from the KJV the Apostolic Bible Polyglot, the Scriptures 2009, World English Bible, and then the complete Messianic Aleph Tov Scriptures. We're in Romans chapter 14. Do not pass judgment on one another. Him that is weak in the faith receive ye, but not to doubtful disputations. For one believeth that he may eat all things, another who is weak eateth herbs. Let not him that eateth despise him that eateth not, and let not him which eateth not judge him that eateth, for God hath received him. Who art thou that judgest another man's servant? To his own master he standeth or falleth, yea, he shall be holden up, for God is able to make him stand. One man esteemeth one day above another, another esteemeth every day alike. Let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. He that regardeth the day regardeth it unto the Lord, and he that regardeth it not not the day, to the Lord he doth not regard it. He that eateth, eateth to the Lord, for he giveth God thanks. And he that eateth not, to the Lord he eateth not, and giveth God thanks. For none of us liveth to himself, and no man dieth to himself. For whether we live, we live unto the Lord, and whether we die, we die unto the Lord. And whether we live, therefore, or die, we are the Lord's. For to this end Christ both died and rose and revived, that he might be Lord both of the dead and the living. But why dost thou judge thy brother? Or why doest thou set at naught thy brother? For we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. For it is written, As I live, saith the Lord, Every knee shall bow to me, and every tongue shall confess to God. So then every one of us shall give account of himself to God. Do not cause another to stumble. Let us, and this is verse 13, Let us not therefore judge one another any more. But judge this rather, that no man put a stumbling block or an occasion to fall in his brother's way. I know and am persuaded by the Lord Jesus that there is nothing unclean of itself. But to him that esteemeth anything to be unclean, to him it is unclean. But if thy brother be greed with thy meat, now walkest thou not charitably. Destroy not him with thy meat. For whom Christ died. Let not then your good be evil spoken of. For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. For he that in these things serveth Christ is acceptable to God and approved of men. Let us therefore follow after the things which make for peace and things wherewith one may edify another. For meat destroy not the work of God. All things indeed are pure, but it is evil for that man who eateth with offense. It is good neither to eat flesh, nor to drink wine, nor anything whereby thy brother stumbleth, or is offended, or is made weak. Hast thou faith? Have it to thyself before God. Happy is he that condemneth not himself in that thing which he alloweth. And he that doubteth is damned if he eat, because he eateth not of faith. For whatsoever is not of faith is sin. And the Apostolic Bible Polyglot, one minute. Brothers and sisters, I gotta check this. All right, hold on one minute, if you would. I've got to take this. Okay, I am back. Now, it's the Apostolic Bible Polyglot. Do not pass judgment on one another. Romans 14. But the one being weak in the belief, take to yourself 
not for distinction of arguings. Indeed, one trusts to eat all things, and the one being weak eats vegetables. The one eating treat not with contempt the one not eating, and the one not eating judge not the one eating, for God received him to himself. Who are you, the one judging a stranger servant, to his own master his stands, or fall, who, to his master his own he stands, I'm sorry, or falls, but he shall be established for God is able to establish him. The one who indeed judges a day over a day and who judges every day, let each have full assurance in his own mind. The one regarding the day regards it to the Lord, and the one not regarding the day regards it not to the Lord. The one eating eats to the Lord, for he gives thanks to God. And the one not eating eats not to the Lord, and he gives thanks to God. For not one of us lives to himself, and no one dies to himself. For if both we should live, we should live to the Lord. And if we should die, we should die to the Lord. If both then we should live, and if we should die, we are of the Lord. For for this Christ both died and rose and lived, that both the dead and the living he should be Lord over. But you, why do you judge your brother? Or also, why do you treat with contempt your brother? For all of us shall stand before the rostrum of the Christ. For it has been written, as I live, says the Lord, that to me every knee shall bend and every tongue shall make acknowledgment to God. So then each of us concerning himself shall give account to God. Do not cause another to stumble. Verse 13. No longer then should we judge one another, but this judge rather to not put an occasion of stumbling to the brother or an obstacle. I know and am persuaded in the Lord Jesus that nothing is profane of itself except to the one considering anything to be profane, to that one it is profane. But if on account of food your brother frets, no longer do you walk according to love. Do not destroy that one by your food. For of whom Christ died, let not be blasphemy then your good. For not is the kingdom of God food and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in Holy Spirit. For the one serving the Christ in these things is well pleasing to God and approved by men. So then the things of peace we should pursue and the things of edifying the thing for one another. Do not destroy the work of God because of food. All things indeed are pure, but it is evil to the man who eats by an occasion of stumbling someone. It is good to not eat meats, nor to drink wine, nor anything in which your brother stumbles against, or because the stumble or is weak. You have belief according to yourself, have it before God. Blessed is the one not judging himself in what he distinguishes, but the one scrutinizing if he should eat has been condemned, for it is not of belief, and everything which is not of belief is sin. And then the scriptures, 2009, do not pass judgment on one another. Romans 14. And receive him who was weak in the belief, not criticizing his thoughts. One indeed believes to eat all food, but he who is weak eats only vegetables. He that eats, let him not despise him who does not eat. And he that does not eat, let him not judge him who eats, for Elohim received him. Who are you that judges another servant? To his own master he stands or falls, but he shall be made to stand, for Elohim is able to make him stand. One indeed judges one day above another, another judges every day alike. Let each one be completely persuaded in his own mind. He who minds the day minds it too. 
I believe that's Elohim. No, it's not Elohim. Minds it to the Lord. And he who does not mind the day to... You know, I can't read that Hebrew word. I'm not exactly sure. It's, it's not Elohim. Maybe it's Yahavah. He does not mind it. He who eats, eats to Yahavah, for he gives Elohim things. And he who does not eat to Yahavah, he does not eat and gives Elohim things. For not one of us lives to himself, and not one dies to himself. For both, if we live, we live unto the Master. And if we die, we die unto the Master. Therefore, whether we live or die, we are the masters. For unto this Messiah died and rose and lived again to rule over both the dead and the living. But why do you judge your brother? Or why do you despise your brother? For we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Messiah. For it has been written, as I live, says Yahavah, every knee shall bow to me and every tongue shall confess to Elohim. No, that's not Yahavah. That's got to be Yeshua. Or the Lord. I have got to look this up, brothers and sisters, because I'm not exactly sure what that Hebrew name is. Right here, let me click on it and see if it's going to bring it up and tell me what that is. Let me go to the KJV. As I live, saith the Lord. So it's Lord. It must be Lord in Hebrew. I am so sorry. I keep saying Yahavan. It's not. It's Lord in Hebrew. Every knee shall bow to me, and every tongue shall confess to Elohim. Each one of us, therefore, shall give account of himself to Elohim. Do not cause another to stumble, starting at verse 13. Therefore, let us not judge one another any longer, but rather judge this, not to put an obstacle or a stumbling block in our brother's way. I know and am persuaded in the Master, Yeshua, that none at all is common of itself, but to him who regards whatever to be common, to him it is common. And if your brother is grieved because of your food, you are no longer walking in love. Do not by your food ruin the one for whom Messiah died. Do not allow your good to be spoken of as evil. For the reign of Elohim is not eating and drinking, but righteousness and peace and joy in the set-apart spirit. For he who is serving Messiah in these matters is well-pleasing to Elohim and approved by men. So then let us pursue the matters of peace and the matters for building up one another. Do not destroy the work of Elohim for the sake of food. All indeed are clean, but evil to that man who eats so as to cause stumbling. It is good not to eat meat or drink wine, nor to do whatever by which your brother stumbles. Do you have belief? Have it to yourself before Elohim. Blessed is he who does not condemn himself in what he approves. But he who doubts if he eats is condemned, because it is not of belief, and all that is not of belief is sin. Right, the World English Bible. Romans chapter 14. Do not pass judgment on one another. Now accept one who is weak in faith, but not for disputes over opinions. One man has faith to eat all things, but he who is weak eats only vegetables. Don't let him who eats despise him who doesn't eat, and don't let him who doesn't eat judge him who eats, for God has accepted him. Who are you who judge another servant? To his own Lord he stands or falls. Yes, he will be made to stand, for God has power to make him stand. One man esteems one day as more important, another esteems every day alike. Let each man be fully assured in his own mind. He who observes the day observes it to the Lord, and he who does not observe the day to the Lord he does not observe it. He who eats, eats to the Lord, for he gives God things. He who doesn't eat to the Lord, he doesn't eat and gives God thanks. For none of us lives to himself and none dies to himself. For if we live, we live to the Lord. Or if we die, we die to the Lord. If therefore we live or die, we are the Lord's. For to this end, Christ died, rose, and lived again, that he might be Lord of both the dead and the living. But you, why do you judge your brother? Or you again, why do you despise your brother? For we will all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. 
For it is written, as I live, says the Lord, to me every knee will bow, every tongue will confess to God. So then each one of us will give account of himself to God. Do not cause another to stumble. Verse 13. Therefore, let's not judge one another anymore, but judge this rather that no man put a stumbling block in his brother's way or an occasion for falling. I know and am persuaded in the Lord Jesus that nothing is unclean of itself except that to him who considers anything to be unclean, to him it is unclean. Yet, if because of food your brother is grieved, you walk no longer in love. Don't destroy with food him for whom Christ died. Then don't let your good be slandered. For God's kingdom is not eating and drinking, but righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. For he who serves Christ in these things is acceptable to God and approved by men. So then, let's follow after things which make for peace and things by which we may build one another up. Don't overthrow God's work for food's sake. All things indeed are clean. However, it is evil for that man who creates a stumbling block by eating. It is good to not eat meat, drink wine, nor do anything by which your brother stumbles, is offended, or is made weak. Do not have faith. Do you have faith? Have it to yourself before God. Happy is he who doesn't judge himself in that which he approves. But he who doubts is condemned if he eats, because it isn't a faith, and whatever is not a faith is sin. Now to him who is able to establish you according to my good news and the preaching of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery, which has been kept secret through long ages, but now is revealed and by the scriptures of the prophets according to the commandments of the eternal God is made known for obedience of faith to all nations to the only wise God through Jesus Christ to whom be glory and forever the glory forever amen all right now the complete messianic Aleph Tov scriptures that was compiled by William H. Sanford Romans chapter 14. Where are we at? Him that is weak in the faith receive you, but not to doubtful disputations. For one believes that he may eat all things, another who is weak eats herbs. Let not him that eats despise him that eats not, and let not him which eats not judge him that eats, for Elohim has received him. Who are you that judge another man's servant? To his own master he stands or falls. Yea, he shall be holden up, for Elohim is able to make him stand. One man esteems one day above another. Another esteems every day alike. Let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. He that regards the day regards it unto Yahweh. And he that regards not the day to Yahweh, he does not regard it. He that eats to Yahweh, for he gives Elohim things. And he that eats not to Yahweh, he eats not and gives Elohim things. For none of us live to himself, and no man dies to himself. For whether we live, we live unto Adonai. And whether we die, we die unto Adonai. Whether we live therefore or die, we are Adonai's. For to this end the Shiach both died and rose and revived, that he might be Adonai both of the dead and the living. But why do you judge your brother? Or why do you set it not your brother? For we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Mashiach. For it is written, as I live, said Yah, um, Yahweh, every knee will bow to me and every tongue shall confess to Elohim. I don't think I'm saying that right. I'm still thinking that's the Lord. Hmm. So then every one of us shall give account of uh, himself to Elohim. Let us not therefore judge one another any more, but judge this rather, that no man put a stumbling block or an occasion to fall in his brother's way. I know and am persuaded by Adonai Yahashua that there is nothing unclean of itself, but to him that esteems anything to be unclean, to him it is unclean. But if your brother is grieved with your meat, now walk you not charitably. Destroy not him with your meat, for whom Mashiach died. Let not then your good be evil spoken of, for the kingdom of Elohim is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Ruach HaKadosh. 
For he that in these things serve Mashiach is acceptable to Elohim and approved of men. Let us therefore follow after the things which make for peace and things wherewith one may edify one another. For me destroy not the work of Elohim. All things indeed are pure, but it is evil for that man who eats with offense. It is good neither to eat flesh nor to drink wine nor anything whereby your brother stumbles or is offended or is made weak. Has you faith? Have it to yourself before Elohim. Happy is he that condemns not himself in that thing which he allows, and he that, and he that faith, for whatsoever is not a faith, is of sin. And that ends Romans chapter 14 out of the five different versions of the Bible. And I'm going to close that for now. All right, brothers and sisters, keep your eyes on Jesus. Your nose in the book, which is the word of God. And in that, the word of God upon the tablets of your hearts. So you will not sin against God or be deceived. Till next time, be blessed, brothers and sisters.